Hergé's Adventures of Tintin. Earth calling XM2. What is your position? We are back on our course, Baxter. Good. You should enter the moon's gravity field in one hour. Stand by. Gentlemen, we are approaching the moon. Professor, look how close we are to the moon. Gee. Professor, I don't see the experimental rocket. It is supposed to be in orbit around the moon. Golly, maybe Snowy's gone. I will try to contact the XM-1. Professor, I see it. Ah, the XM-1 is still in orbit. It was on the dark side of the moon. Tintin, the XM-1 is losing altitude. It will crash on the moon any minute now. XM-1 must have crashed. It is in an orbit. Yeah, something's wrong. The radio signal isn't signaling anymore. Poor Snowy. I hope he's still alive. Earth calling moon rocket XM-2. You are about to enter the moon's gravity field. Stand by to reverse rocket. Cut main motor. Start directional thrust. Okay, we are ready. Here goes! Everybody in the bunks! The pressure will be terrible! XM2 to Earth. We are an automatic pilot approaching the moon. The sensation is unbelievable. Captain Haddock is blacked out, and the professor's unconscious. Difficult to breathe. I... I... Good grief. They're all out. I hope the automatic pilot works. they're all done for. Earth calling XM2. Earth calling XM2. Earth calling XM2. Come in, XM2. Earth calling XM2. Come in, XM2. XM2, 1010 calling Earth. We have landed on the moon. They made it. They made it! I will vote that landing on the moon! Watch for the next series of Hergé's Adventures of Tintin. <laughs>